And you got yeah. Noah? Yep, I'm all good. Uh, Everyone can hear me fine. Just want to make sure. Oh, all good. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely all good. I'm ready whenever. Uh, seems a lot of people are busy having tea. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, maybe after uh, after we do and maybe they'll come in. I did let some people know if they want to listen. If they want to listen in, uh, I guess we'll wait for people to come in. I I can ask them questions. So I I guess uh, why don't you start, why don't you start by introducing your introduction? Uh, go, go ahead, okay. All right, all right. I guess I'll handle the introductions. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this meet and greet. It is an honor for having us here. I am Yoshi Taylor 13. And I am Whispering VA or Sebastian von Helsing, as it's on YouTube. Uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's a pleasure to be have here. So, um, so do you, do you want to talk about your, yourself first, Whispering, or I, I should? Was not. You can go ahead. Okay, so um, pe- for people who has know me as I play as Tails, Charmy, Kit, Chip, Silver, Cream, a few other roles from our, our communities. I do a lot of uh, a few Sonic stories for for my channel, like um, Vector's new truck, the Secret Food Stash, Red Star Redemption, my home away from home, and. Uh, yeah, it's. I like to make a lot of the other Sonic characters have more interactions, so that's why I enjoy uh, trying to making my own kind of stories. But yeah, I think that's I think that's all I, I I would say about me from what I do in my channel. Shut my boot. Ah. Speaking of channels, I, honestly, I've been doing a lot of voice. Uh, uh, for those who don't know, I do a lot of voicing for the character Infinite, and I mean a lot of it. I also do Scourge, among others, when it comes to voicing for Revels. As for like outside work, for like uh, if I were to be casted for something in various projects, whether if it's a comic dub or an animation, I'd various between Infinite to Shadow to Silver to scourge to this to that to this to that so many characters i've been <laughs> solicited <laughs> off um but they in San, uh, sonic franchise out as for like channel wise i do sfm animations occasionally a lot of comic dubs toxic air series that's you can ask Noah about that he's co-director of that series yep. um yep i am so Actually, so this is kind of a funny coincidence, but me and Whispering known each other back like in 2017, and we've been working for like, I think like around six years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're still. Yeah, we're still running. We're. <laughs> we met in a in essentially a pie shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So, okay, you've been going way back. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh yeah, way back. We did gotten to meet in person before, but it was yeah. like I used to, from a place I used to work. But hopefully, we can meet each other again in person. But other than that, I think we're ready to answer everyone's questions. So, um, I think yeah, we um, should. If, if I may, if, uh, if I may start with an initial question, just how did you two get started in in boycotting? I don't know who want, which one of you wanted to go first. Oh. Uh, you can go first, Whispering. Ah, uh, how did I... Like, voice acting in general or in the Sonic franchise? I think voice acting in general. Oh, well, let's just say one day I was uh, watching a cartoon and I think like, one day I want to voice act. And I never really did anything about it. Then I'm like, you know what? Today's today. I'm going to do something about it. And this is way back in 2015. So uh, I just like, you know, I looked up a few websites where I could like, figure out where you could audition, get a few roles. I think the very first website I ever like signed up for when it came to auditioning was behind the voice actors. 
it all started there. And then people recommended Cast and Cold Club. And then through there, I went through as a had a project through there. I met Noah. A lot of work has came through Noah, other things. But other than that, I really got into voice acting because I really loved to watch cartoons. And at some point, I was like, I want to voice a cartoon character someday. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I actually came to be. Of course. So, from my end, uh, I got into starting to voice acting the year of 2015. So, I did... So, well, I did some acting before, kind of like in the past, when I was like in elementary school. When I was sort of grade, I... I think I I think I did like was a musical <laughs> at the time, and the second one I was doing Narnia. I I played a role a bit like I was like giving out tea and such, and throwing out snow. So that was that was fun to do, and uh, I tried to try to try to do a feeder class from from my senior year, so I can learn myself to get into acting. And all that, so it it was kind of a nice experience, and so funny. So yeah, when I started voice acting in twenty fifteen, tail ta- either tails or toad were my first voices. I uh, I was going, I was liking the voice for because they're they're so fun to play as. And, uh, it, excuse me, um, I guess later on, uh, when I keep running into people like, yeah, casting cult club or meeting other people from discord or Twitter, I made a lot of connections on, along the way. And I'm really happy where I am now. It's, it's really fun. It's, um, yeah, uh, before uh, we call up an audience member, I'm very curious now, how did you get casted uh, for a journaling job since you're in that project now? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it's a funny story. Um, I used to work a channel called one of my friends, uh, Sebastian. He did a few, uh, a few RT dubs, like, in the past, like, I was Tails, Landy was Sonic, and Ryan was Amy at the time. And then when I got in to see the Enduron Dubs channel, like, oh wow, this, this dumb and crew is so cool. I know it's, I could see Cat and Ghost Andrew in the audience. Hey, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, but yeah, I guess when I started to voice, I, I try out some additional voices in the Mel Virus arc. And then later when Surge and Kate were first introduced. Larry just hit me like my my like like my voice like he sees my voice fit well for Kit. And I just like I feel so honored working for that working for the for the German Dubs crew. All right. There, um, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Noah. But yeah, um, as I as I mentioned from back from the German Dubs uh, panel, I also play as a. Uh, W or as in Barry for one comic, along with uh, Cheese and Crusher from Archie. All right, I'm finished. <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, so, sorry. You no know, audio delays can be. Uh, but yeah, uh, did you want to, which one of you wanted to call up the first person? Okay, uh, let's call Mayuto. Here, let me bring him over. Hello, Noah. Hello, Whispering. Hey, Mayuto. Uh, hey, Mayuto. How's it going? Yeah, Good. Doing- Okay, so here's my cool question. So, what were your moments in the secret food stash? Oh, yeah, that f- <laughs> that was a fun film I got into made. So, <clears throat> I would say my favorite performance was Geeky Sonic being the vector in that film. He he did fantastic. Like he <laughs> it's like he he has an appetite for food and such yeah he does love to eat all that food <laughs> and i really i really like the way that uh taylor's and like taylor's wanted to do something for charming for making like some kind of food machine obviously now that pan out yeah yeah <laughs> but i will vouch for that just like when sp was like i think it's time for you to go on a diet <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Factor <started> like launching. <laughs> drops to his knees and is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think I also enjoyed having like a lot of the characters at the party. Like having more other characters interact, like with uh so I, I include Sony and Manic, Tingle, Whisper, Rotor, Ray, Mighty. My yeah. I'm pretty proud of that. But yeah, does that answer your question, my too? Yes, that answers the question, Noah. Thanks. All right, thank you, my Ito. You're welcome, Noah. All righty. Uh, whispering, did would you like to call up Hat Master? Sure. Bring that master of hats up here. Hello. Uh, Sorry. Hello, hello, Hat. Hi. Hello. I hope you're all doing well. Here. Nice. So I have a question for the both of you. Mm-hmm. What is mm-hmm. one standout role of yours that you're proud of? Standout role. Um, is it for like anything for general? Anything. It could be for any project or anything. What, what is one standout role that you're proud of? Um, general does is I, I really stand out, but I would also say uh, Sonic for for uh, Geeky Sonic's project, um, Sonic Polaris, I, I got into voice tales for that. And the story that Garrett written, it was so, it's so emotional. Yeah. I really enjoyed Sonic Polaris. And I also help audio mix for, for those stories. Uh, I, and, uh, I can't think of anything else. There, there's so many. I would say, there, there's a lot of things I really glad to be part of, and yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead, whispering. <laughs> well, I got a list of like projects I could just name on. Oh, standing out. Um, this goes. This would go way back to. When I voiced for Sonic Paradox, it was back when I voiced Shadow a lot. I still voice Shadow. Um, it was probably it was like I think it was sad. Uh, yeah, Alexa, shut up. Uh, okay. Um, so it was in Sonic Paradox, one of the Sonic shorts, I believe. It was uh when Cream offered uh, what was it Shadow Bowl soup? Uh, the soup is one of those like soups with little, little spaghetti letters in it. Uh, one of the letters were just so happened to be like spelled out Maria. Uh, Shadow sees that and you know, <laughs> goes through like whole PTS BS mode and like traumatized. So yeah, recording for that was actually pretty fun, and seeing the end end product was actually uh, <laughs> quite impressive, especially the way the animation was laid out. Um. That plus, I think Shadow's New Revenge, wishing Shadow on that was also quite, uh, it was the very first time I ever voiced in a 2D animation, and I actually really enjoyed that one as well. A lot of, a lot of comedy, a lot of, a lot of thick comedy in that one. So, oh, actually, nice. oh, actually, there is one kid animation I had voiced, it's, it's on Twitter from where I remembered they decided to. They asked me, like, hey, c- can I use your kid voice to do an animation test? And I'm like, sure. And it, it, it was, like, so super clean. Like, Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that. Phenomenal. It was really nice. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yes, that's really it's, insightful. Yeah, yeah. Did I answer your question okay, Hat Master? All right. I believe Absolutely. You. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, Hat. Have a good one. Yeah. You as well. <laughs> Alrighty, so I believe Kelp had a question, and then we'll get the cat next. Okay. Kelp has a question? What? Kelp had a question. Yes, I do. Hello, guys. Hey, hey Kelp. How you doing? Good, you? Doing? Yeah. Doing good. I'm doing good. There's my question. But no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so my question is for you: What are some character dynamics in the Sonic series that you want to see explored more? Uh, I would say I would want to see more interactions with the other characters, like 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 with the Chaotix, 
I want to see more of the soul dimension. I think I think soul dimension deserves more m- more potential. I think soul dimension has some potential Absolutely. from that. And I want a kit redemption, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll say. All right. What about you, Whispering? Whispering? Hey, Whispering, you there? <coughs> oh no! Ah, this uh, this darn oh, no, program no. tends to uh, cut out. Um. There's a lot I'd like to see more explored, but a lot of what I'd like to see explored is just like kind of partially out of the question because the characters I'd like to see more explored apparently is either categorized as deceased or just won't come back. Most likely won't come back. And in general, when it comes to these type of dynamics to be deeper, but I would actually like to get more. If I could choose, it would probably be between uh, Tangle and Blaze's little friendships. I like that kind of cute little friendship. I'd like oh, to yeah. see deeper and more um, I would, with those two. I would want to do Because I personally think Tangle's personality is absolutely hilarious and kind of goes to a far unnoticed. Um, you know, it's kind of funny enough. I do would want to do a story when... Uh, if Tangle, want, Tangle, Jewel, and Whisper would visit in the Soul Dimension, that would be really cool. Oh, that would be quite Well, thank you for answering my question, uh, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your uh, Q&A here. Yeah, thank you, Kill. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kill. All right, I believe Kat was the next person to raise her hand, so let's call her yep. up. Yep. Hey, Kat. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, Kat. How's it going? Greetings. Oh, Sarah, hey. sorry about that. Technical difficulties. So, You're all good. lovely to see you all. And my question for you is a bit of a deep one. Um, mm-hmm. What is the most valuable lesson you've learned in your time voice acting? Ooh, that is a good question. Um, <laughs> no, um, this uh, this question is very deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, excuse me. Um, sorry, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, deepest lesson I have ever learned. It goes more towards when you're auditioning for a role. Um, because you got you are auditioning for a role, and you got a lot of other people auditioning for that role. So you need to understand that you got like pass fail you will you may or might not get this role but you you should not ne- you should never be afraid to fail or should never be afraid uh, to like under uh to not get a role not get casted and someone else gets casted over you you should not let that like be a be a sign of a down set and have you down and be like i didn't get this role i don't think i'll ever get a role in the future no, I'm, I'm giving up all right that it, no it's 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 auditioning is like um it's like signing like turning in a job application um for more of a unique job but uh it's like turn, basically it is turning a job application in uh you you do your recording you did you send it in and will you get the job or not? Like, who knows? It's always going to be a mystery until like the day of the casting. And sometimes you get the role. Sometimes you don't, if you don't, you can't, you can't let this like one failure of however many times you don't get a role, like define how good of a voice actor you are and start thinking like you're absolutely terrible. If you don't get the role, you need to understand that just because you didn't get that role doesn't mean you're not going to get one in the future. I have come to learn that you got, you can't be afraid just to fail over like ones. Also, I've also learned that you always have to have fun and put your own originality into this character. Whether if it's a character that has a cunning canon voice, I always find it better to put like your own originality into it. Otherwise you're just like being a knockoff, like copy of the original voice actor. I get it. Some people are looking for that, but still, if you don't have your own originality, it's kind of making the character a bit flat. Should I say? Yep. Big facts. That, yep. Uh, I would probably, I guess uh, I would add in, try to practice around, like play around with your voice, like see what you see yourself could try voicing like for characters. Like try to see who you are. Like you've always would see yourself would, would play. 
And the more you practice the voice, the more, uh, the more, you, the more you'll get opportunities. <laughs> Sorry if I don't have any better words. <laughs> no, no, I think that's a great way to answer that. Thank yeah. you. These are some very valuable things to think about with voice acting. Yeah. And thank you so much. Oh, I got one more. Mm, uh, thank you. Oh, okay. Drink, drink lots of water. Drink lots of water. Yes. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> yes, yes. Stay thank hydrated. You so You'll want to stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for the question, Kat. Thank you for having me. Yep. Ooh. Good. <laughs> Hey, I believe uh, Rain Room was next, and then uh, Kitchene Kami 2.0. All right. Oh, let me add her. Hey, Hello. Rain Boom. Hello. Hi. How are you all doing? <laughs> hey, we're doing good. Good. The cheese Hi. and crackers queen herself. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. But anyway, I have a question here for you, Noah, and Whispering. Um, mm-hmm. What was your most favorite role role of Sonic character that you've done so far? I would say Tails and Charmy. Hey. Tails and Charmy, because those are the most roles I have played. <laughs> but I would want I would want to do more silver though, because I haven't done silver in a while. For 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 stuff that is, but yeah, I would say <laughs> tails and charmy for me. Oh uh, yeah, I'm doing really hope I wish that I can hear you more of your silvers impression, Noah. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh right, uh, whispering. Um, yeah, no, that's a good. It always it's like a it varies actually. Um, like obviously I enjoy voice and in infinite. But that's more like. Based off of like that, that is, but infants, uh, uh, for me because being so low voice toned, uh, you got the filter sharing that same character is, um, makes that voicing infinite in particular uh be easy i also really love voicing shadow as well when given the chance and scourge i, I love scourge's bad at uh, like a uh, bad attitude just like bad boy attitude it's just, just it's just so much fun every time i get the chance to voice scourge so um i'd like to see the silver as well though i Come when it comes to like silver sense, it's more like steel. Um, oh yeah, the anti. And me- uh, yep, and and Mephilus. Any given chance, I love to voice Mephilus. But those chances don't really arise that much. But other than that, yeah, Infinite and Shadow. Nice. <laughs> Was that answer your question, Rainbow? Yep. Yep. So, um, so I guess that's it for my question, and uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the rest of your panel, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Rainbow. <laughs> you too. All right. I uh, believe uh, uh, Kristen Kami two point oh next had uh, had their hand raised. Right. No. Yep. Groovy. Hello, my groovy cats. What's cracking? Hi. Uh, groovy. Uh, yes. So. On the topic of uh, relating to Archie stuff, et cetera, et cetera, um, mm-hmm. I would like to say, uh, would you, do you guys honestly miss the egg bosses as well? I do. I definitely do miss the egg bosses. They, they, mm-hmm. they had so much potential. Oh, indeed, for sure. I, there, there are a few characters I like. I like Axel the Water Buffalo. He, I like he's kind of mood. Uh, there was also. Uh, Oh, sorry. I'm trying to remember the popcorn names. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, yes, Cassie and Clove. Yeah, Cassie and Clove. Thank you. Um, those are good characters, and and I kind of wanted to see more of Rotor's backstory with Tundra because he. That was. Oh yeah, that was an unfinished storyline. Was I did a. I remember doing a story of of wow. Tails interacting Rotor of what happened from the issue of two two seventy six. Honestly, I still. I feel proud of uh, making that story. 
Do you mind if I stay and make some com- statements as well? Yeah. I just I just enjoy the art she reboot. Yeah, it was she pretty is. golden. I, I do miss the as oh I would like to also say I do miss the uh, whole bit with the how we got more about the countries and all that good stuff, the other places as well. As well as a uh-huh. different rendition of the Werehog. Oh yeah. But yes. Oh yeah, there was a a Chihuahua. What was that Chihuahua's name? Bucky? Yeah, Bisky? Bucky. <laughs> okay, yeah, that 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 I think that's her name because she she was in the Night of the Werehog. Yes. Anyhow, I suppose. Oh, that is right. Uh, whisper, right, whispering. Do you have anything to say about missing the egg bosses? I just miss them. I just bring them back. That's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. That's you know, what I just... thought would happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get too far into depth. I'm just like, bring them back. Uh, yes, we all love them. <laughs> uh, especially Cuckoo. He was, he was extra cool. Oh, despite yeah. how weird he looked. But besides the point, yes, I will. Um, <laughs> that's my question for now, I suppose. Um, I will skedaddle skedoodle. Hope you yeah. all stay groovy. Thank you, for, thank you for coming by. Thank yeah. you for having me. Stay Gucci. Yeah. Later. Oh, Hey, I believe uh, Sorty has a question he would like to ask. Hi, my boy Sorty. Sword. Hey, Noah. Um, how's um, how's everything going? Yeah, we're doing good. Um, oh boy. Um, <laughs> oh man, I didn't think of a question before I had my hand up, but uh, I'm, I I okay. feel like something's gonna gonna come gonna come up, but um, um, um. Uh, what do you like most about uh, your favorite characters? Um, your favorite Sonic characters? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that, that's a question we haven't gotten the answer. I'll let you go first, Whispering. Um, no, oh, shoot. Uh, okay, let's see. What is? I suppose each one has their own unique sense of character as a character, like Shadow. You see him as an edgy black hedgehog, but you know he's like that for a reason. He has a tragic past. I, I like I like the characters. I really have a deep liking for their backstories. I know Infinite doesn't really have much of a backstory, but from what you do know, from what, like I don't know, fan comics and like stuff like that, you like to make one of your own. Uh, regardless, yeah, with his squad. Um, is it, yeah, so the death of you know, supposable death of a squad and all that. Most of them like have a tragic backstory. Um, yeah, but yeah, I I like their background, their backstory, as much as I like the characters. Uh, some more than others. I mean, like Shadow, for example. I keep bringing Shadow up, but he's like. I don't know. He's been one of my fa- top favorite characters ever since like 2015 or since I even f- figured out the ex- very existence of Shadow Infinite came in later. Uh, but yeah, his if you ever played Shadow's game, you get a pretty broad why and uh, wide idea why he's the edge lord that he is. Um I'd say he's more of a vigilante than a hero. Uh, but yeah, it's always about their backstories that always makes me feel like these enjoy the character as much as there is. It's always been their backstories and their background. Like Scourge wasn't always green. He used to be his backstory is deep. Yeah, his, he's got a deep backstory. Uh, deep, deep. <laughs> But yeah, I guess it's those that I, I personally connect with. Because if I can personally connect with their backstory, I can connect you with the character. Okay. Um, for me, there's a lot of characters I really love. Tails, he's so kind. He wants to help everyone. Supportive. That's what I like about him. Along with Rotor, he I like. I I'm I'm. Mostly adore him in Archie Reboot. He has brawn and brains. I, I just like that. I like that a lot with him. I wish he had a lot of interactions with Tails in the Archie Reboot, though. But oh, yeah. oh yes, um, oh yes, um, before um, he um, 
that before he had his buff look, it looks like he, I mean, um, it seemed like, um, he, um, and Tails had a, a connection before. Yeah. Yeah. But they had, they both had a rough pat. They were both were bully, like with the, with the past, like they get their, I think, yeah, there was this one time Rotor was younger. T- his father, Tundra, kind of like trashed it because he, he, like, making gadgets wasn't, I think making gadgets wasn't Tundra's thing, like, from what happened. But yeah, so I'm glad Rotor and Tails can relate each other. And would that be inspiration behind uh, your tails and motor? Um, yeah, my home away. Yeah, yeah, my home away from home. I think. I think also there was there was a a reference to Rotor's mother, but she was she was sick from one. It, it was it was kind of like it was a certain panel of Rotor's mother, like she was sick, but I think she might have. Uh, yeah, she might have. I might die. She might have died from from that from Archie reboot. Um, but yeah, besides Tails and Rudder, I also love the Chaotix. I love they're like a family. Vector Vector is a Vector is a fun one. Like as a <laughs> there's so many things I like about Vector. Charmy, he's the joyful kid. Likes to play. I I I liked giving Tails and Charmy a friendship. So, and Espio, he's 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 an awesome ninja boy. And Kitsunami, <laughs> oh man, really love I really love Kit. I just feel bad for him. What what him and Serge is going through with the Starline. I would uh, definitely want to do a story Tails supporting Kit. Oh yeah, uh, Kid and um and Serge were suffering through a lot from Starline and um yeah. and um it'd be cool to see um Tails and Kit um have um a moment together. But yeah, please do that when they come back and I think like two more issues from now. I want a redemption arc, darn it. Yeah, ditto. But yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. There are other characters I really like, but I don't want. I don't want to hold this question too long. So, thank you so much for this question, Dante. I'm glad I could. Um, I could uh, join in for uh, the the chat. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I believe Mr. Sh- uh, yeah, Mr. Scoot had the question. Okay. Oh, here we go. Mm. Howdy. Howdy. Hello. Oh, it um, might not work. Uh, no. I uh, tried moving them back and then calling them back up. But I just, I right, let, 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 let me do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Here, here, let me, that work? Hold on. Let me uh, get them back in. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna. No. No. Nope, don't. Still not working. I oh, would you like to type up your question and in, instead and in, in, yeah. in, uh, in the text channel? Let's see if this works. One more time. Yeah. Yeah. My text it in. in Text it in the chaos stage room. Text if 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 it if your mic isn't working. Mm, all right, working. There we go. There, there we go. go. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's nice to meet you guys. So you'll see me one of your videos. I like your videos a lot. Oh, I well, thank you. You're welcome. So I do have a question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound like. A bit raspy. I just got through. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just got through with the cough. This is not how I normally sound. Uh, I think everyone's getting sick in November, which is really unfortunate since it's getting cold this se- cold <laughs> this month. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. So my question is, who is better, Mario or Luigi? Oh, um. I like both. Is both an option? You can only choose one. Uh, well, I could probably, I could probably just go with Luigi. I, he, he jumps higher. I do. Yeah, he does. Hey, and now my voice went to normal. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just go with Luigi if that answers your question. 
Yeah, I prefer Luigi too because he's my favorite. Uh, whis- he's uh, whispering. Popular. What about you? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty neutral, but I think Luigi is just funnier. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> to be honest, I never really gotten a chance to play Luigi's Mansion, to be honest, but I still like him. Let's see. Well, thank you f- for your question. You Mr. are Sp- very welcome. Thanks for having me. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, I got another question for you, Noah. How did you yeah. come up with the name Yoshi Tail 13, and how did you come up with your character design? Oh, okay. Um, so it's kind of a funny story. Um, I was used to called Yoshi Fan 163, 163 back at the time. I used to, <laughs> I used to do gaming videos, but when I moved on doing voice acting, I changed my name to Yoshi's Tales 13. Like Yoshi, my favorite Mario character, Tails, my favorite Sonic character. And the 13 is the year when I started YouTube. Like, like, well, 13 is my age when I started YouTube. Shout out to a, uh, to a fellow Yoshi and Taylor fan. Yeah. And uh, for making my OC, uh, it was kind of a work in progress. But, but for my, my OC right now, I think, it's get, I think it's getting better now since it, it has more creative like I added more features with like with my tail and having my gloves purple. Just don't want just don't want to be like a <laughs> just don't want to be like a, a recolor tails. But you know. Oh but yeah, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> all right. Uh, so to which brain was there like an inspiration behind your infinite boy? The inspiration behind my infinite voice. Yeah, or, or was there like an in- uh, inspiration behind it? Uh, well, I enjoy the char- uh, character Infinite. But I do take me on uh, variations. Just, ah, my inspiration. Well, uh, it has changed and progressed a lot over the. Um, I think ever since uh, when it was just introduced. Yeah. It was back when that was his infinite. The character himself was just quite the inspiration because he he was a very very new character, a villain with lots of potential, and I wish they could have used him a lot more. <laughs> but um, since he was such a new form of character, infinite himself was quite the inspiration, and I did, his voice was just so cool. Uh, I'm like, ooh, that is like. That puts shills down your spine, if anything. So I was like, I want to try this. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so I'm like, I'm going to try this. And when I first started doing Infinite's voice, I was extremely forced. I, I had no idea what I was doing, but it did plan me some roles. Um, but over time, it has like progressed and inspirations. The more inspiration I got, the more I decided to change it up. Um, and now I could just officially just go from, I don't really have to worry about too much editing anymore because I don't have to worry about doing so much voice shifting. I mean, if you want, Infinite will forever be one of my main inspirations. He's got that sinister voice tone and I, and the character, again, the character himself is just like that, uh. The character himself is just an inspiration. As for my, as for the voice, is I try to add my own take to it, but still, um, I do not take him as like a character that I idolize, like a lot of people do. But it is an inspirational character. But yeah, it used to be extremely forced. Now it's more laid back and like less hurt and it doesn't hurt as much as it used to and i'm gonna be honest it used to hurt a lot i i am curious what did you do to make it hurt less um well when i first started voicing infinite i used to do this all the time and as you can imagine there's so much tension on your throat and on um when doing that, you're like, I'm causing a lot of tension, a lot of forced tension in my neck and my throat that make it sound like that. Uh, and then I just record it 
duplicate the tracks, bottom track, negative seven. And other people caught on. It was good enough to land me some rolls. But regardless, to make it stop hurting, I was advised not to do it, not to be so forced. And I'm like, okay, just be a bit more calm and talk a tad bit more slow and be a bit more sinister about it. So out of those three forms of advice that I took, I started talking a little bit more calmly, a little bit more slowly, and a tad bit more sinister. And then you got you got this voice. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And when you start speaking like this, and write with the right amount of editing, or the right amount of effects, you can bring out your inner infinite. You become infinite for a time as you are script reading. At the end of the script, again, I'm just myself, so... Um, but yeah... I just kind of relaxed more and talked at a slower rate. It it went from pain to more uh, no pain. <laughs> Just say that. But yeah, there's not really much of inspiration other than the character himself. So if I were to if I were to bring up some clips of my past Infinite Voice, I'd probably look at them and I'd be cringe so hard. I don't think my face be able to tolerate it. Hey, so. we, we all started somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I can sort I can sort of relate. Like when I started trying, when I was doing Tales and Charming, <laughs> I wasn't my best moment. But the more I practice, I, I just getting better. I, I'm I'm curious, Noah. What was the inspiration for your kit voice? Oh, um, okay. I guess. I think it's because of Land. Yeah, Landy pretty much like. I think it's because of my natural voice. That's why. Because um, well, it's a little higher, sort of. If if getting into motion, but yeah, uh, this is how I do kit. Like, hi, uh, it, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> but yeah. So, again, I I want to thank Landy for having me the opportunity being part of the crew. And since we're on Kit, you know, obviously since Church and Kit are coming back very, very soon, what's one thing you're hoping to see when, when that issue comes uh, out? Well, from what I'm seeing from the cover, I noticed Whisper was there because Whisper might have remembered with encountering Surge. So I don't know what is going to happen from that. And I know... Uh, Duo is also there along with Amy in that cover, so I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I know they they seem to be working. They were going to join join the re- restoration. Yeah, that's the word. But yeah. I know that was in the solicitation. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to in- interrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Uh, restoration. Um, yeah. I'm I'm just like like what is gonna happen there? So I was like, yeah, because I wanted to know at least what happened where uh Kit took Surge from like it like is he taking care of of her and all? Yeah, but like um just for a short time, Kit was on the other side. So yeah, I know they like the solicitation saying like oh you know Surge and Kit are joining the restoration of but he's other just talking to him like. I might go think of the course. I'm like, please, please, <laughs> stay that way. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, question for uh, whispering: If if Infinite ever came back, I'm sorry to say, what would you like to see happen? That's a good question. Oh, ah, uh, boy. I don't know. That depends on what his intentions would be if he ever came back. Uh, but. Uh, what would I like to see happen? Uh, I could. S- there are two things I could see. I could either see him definitely looking for some form of vengeance against Sonic, um, or some form of redemption. Uh, like him, him trying to redeem himself from the villain he was. If I, like he were to come back, says so I do but, remember. Yeah, I, sorry. Um, but yeah, to be 
beaten twice, but then again, I think his defeat was a bit unfair because he was outnumbered. Uh, but regardless, I could personally, th- there's just two ways of seeing it. Uh, either a deep hunger for revenge on Sonic, classic Sonic and rookie, or some form of redemption and like Eggman was a working for Eggman was a mistake. Join the resistance for a while, take him down again. This that it's just I can't say for certain. There's a lot of ways that I could see it happening, but those are the two and the two the two main particular scenarios I could see as like if Infinite were to come back. I was going to point out, I, I, I remember uh, this fan comic we dubbed that uh, he was with uh, the the Avatar Wolf. Oh, yeah. yeah, do you uh, remember that? Uh, silent, I still have to work on issue three. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, Damn. oh. Okay, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's a cold season. Just getting yeah. cold out and living in Minnesota. Yep, is, yep. Living in Minnesota is not helping anything. Mm hmm. All right, but yeah, those are the two scenarios. But then you got all those ships between him and Rookie and everything else. Ah, mm. point. But those are literally the two scenarios I could just see between it. If Infinite were to come back, it's just he either looking for some form of redemption or is a uh, severe hunger for revenge. So, See where vengeance would get him, so I can learn. Is there anything else you want to ask, Kevin? What? Uh, I don't know. I how much time do we have? We, 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 we got we got eight minutes. If anyone has any questions to us, feel free to raise your hand. How you doing, man? Uh, I isn't it only for one person though? Oh, uh, Maeda had another question. Oh well, uh, or made up. All right, all right. We'll we'll give him a second round. Hello again. Hey, Mario. Too. Okay, so here's my second round question. Um, how did Vector <laughs> feel about having his new truck? In Vector's in new truck. Uh, well, actually, I think I probably. I think what you're trying, I think I would try to answer this question a bit differently. Like how, what, what inspired me writing Vector having a truck? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I think, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't know. I would see like Vector would owning a, his own truck to drive like for transportation. <laughs> yeah, he does love I don't know. He's he's twenty years old and I, he's twenty years old now, so he should be able now to drive. And it, this was like a fun story I did like back in 2019, 2019 at the time. But yeah, uh, so the base of this story is, I think, I think I was inspired. Oh. One of my friend's stories, and I was kind of using some references from from connecting it. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of lost with words right here. I'm trying to trying to remember what I did back then. Yeah, just Vector just Vector w- wanted to show Tails and Charmy and driving around. <laughs> Vector was driving crazy, <laughs> trying to have fun driving crazy. Um, <laughs> and then I and I decided to have a storm. <laughs> being a robber for the heck of it. Vector tried to uh get Tails and Charmy and his truck back. <laughs> yeah. But that. yeah, that's I wish I could explain more of the detail. <laughs> but that 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 film was like two years ago, I believe. Yep. Two years. And I know you I know, of course, you you animated for that, and I appreciate for yep, helping me out. I with that. animated for you since Great White couldn't do it. But yeah, I think that's sort of why. I guess I just want to do like a funny kind of film with like with the chaotics. That I think that's why. Yeah, I know I could. I 
I think the only thing I would, I, I should have, I hadn't really done much with SBO because I didn't know what to do much with SBO. SBO was getting groceries at the time. And then SBO was like concerned, like where have they been all this time? <laughs> but luckily I, for the secret food stash, I, 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 I try to give SBO more interactions for, for that film. But yeah, that's, I think that's how, uh, that's kind of like my thoughts of Vector's new truck. Cool. It was pretty cool. Does that, does that answer your question, Mayuto? Yes, that answers my question. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mayuto. You're welcome, Noah. All righty. So it's about running out of time here. So it's to wrap this up and let Josh get ready. So what are yeah. any last words you two would like to say before we wrap up uh, your meet and greet? Oh, okay. Um, I just want to say thank you all for all your support and it's great meeting all of you and really getting to know myself of, of stuff of <laughs> sorry, words cannot describe. <laughs> I, I really have fun in this panel. So thank you all. You guys are awesome. And um, I'll see you around for Sonic Expo if you guys are going to be, if you, if most of you guys are showing up for there. Yeah, but, I, will, yeah. I will see you there, Noah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fun. This was great. I mean, being asked questions I haven't been asked before and actually asked and I'd be able to answer, I had a lot of fun. Thank you, yeah. everyone, for, for this amazing new experience. Yeah, thank you. All right. So thank you two very, very much for coming. And thank you, everybody in the audience for coming. Uh, Josh is going to start his in just a few moments. So I will end the stage and then he can start up the next one. All right. See you guys later.